Hello students, today we will be doing some very important questions from the class 11th biology chapter 1. Okay, let us see the first question. Name the three fields of systematics. So, what are the three fields of systematics? Here is the answer for you all. First one is the nomenclature. Second is classification and third is taxonomy so these three are the main fields of systematics okay now coming to the next question give the two name system of organisms so what is the two name system of organism here two name system is with the system in which we are using two different uh, two names which we write let is genus and species so what that naming system is called that is being asked. So, your answer for this question will be binomial nomenclature. Okay, two naming system where we write the genus name followed by the species name is called as nom binomial nomenclature. Now, the next question, write the correct order of sequence of taxonomical categories. So, what is the correct order of sequence when we are writing the taxonomical categories answer for this would be species followed by genus then family order class then phylum then at the top will be kingdom okay so this is the sequence now next question what are the advantages of giving scientific names of the organism this question carries two marks what are the advantage of giving scientific names of the organism so here is the answer for you all scientific names are universally accepted so this is one of the advantage that it is universally accepted in the world because they are based on same principles that are universal second advantage is that the advantage of technical term is the relationship of comparison okay there is a relationship which we can maintain and then comparison to with the others so it becomes easy to compare with the others and we are able to uh, tell what the relationship of one organism is with the other like every time when we write genus species so we get to know exactly to which genus and species those uh, organisms are belonging so taxonomical relationship can be understood from this now the next question is give the role of botanical garden what is the role of botanical garden yes for this here is your answer botanical garden provides plant material for taxonomic studies second point that plant species are grown for identification right and the third one plants are grown for research in botanical garden and the fourth point to maintain the records of all the local flora flora or floral variety okay so that can be maintained in a botanical garden so these are the few of the advantages that we see when we maintain a botanical garden next question is you have to differentiate between the species and taxon so here are the differences species and taxon first point in species it is a basic taxonomic category okay it is a basic taxonomic category whereas taxon is a level of taxonomic category species is a rank whereas taxon is a group of concrete biological aspects Third point, species is monophyletic, whereas taxon is monophyletic or it can be polyphyletic too. Now the next question, name the guidelines for naming of organisms. So what are the guidelines for naming an organism? Here is your answer. 
Guidelines for naming organism. First point, a scientific name generally has two words in Latin or derived from Latin irrespective of their origin. Second point, first word denotes the genus, whereas the second word is for species. Third point is names are printed in italics are separately underlined to indicate the latin origin next guideline given is each taxonomic group has only one correct name fifth point the name must be short precise and easy to pronounce sixth point generic names begins with a capital letter and the specific name with the small letter example homo sapiens homo is the generic or we call it as genus name and sapiens is the species name now the next question that is question number eight is what is biological classification and what is the need of classification for the previous question, there is one more point, one more guideline which is given. That is, the name of the author is written in abbreviated form after the species name and it is printed in Romans. Okay. Now coming to this question, uh, question number 8, answer will be, Biological classification is the naming of organism by two words. One is the generic name and the other one is the specific name. For example, man is called Homo sapiens. Classification becomes essential for following reasons. So, what are the important reasons that classification should be done and it becomes important also for us. Okay. So, here is the answer for you all. Okay. So, the first reason why classification is important, it is very essential for the systematic study of living organism or living beings. Without this study of different organisms would be in confusion. So, in order to do systematic study of living organism, classification becomes important. Second point, it is impossible to study each and every organism because there is a huge variety of organisms. Third point, all type of organisms do not occur in given locality. It's not necessary that each and every organism will be there. And if we want to get an idea about the different variety of organism living on the earth, okay, so we need to have some classification or some system so that we can know about them, okay. Next point, without a proper system, so classification, it is impossible to recognize or identify different types of organisms. So, it is actually the classification system which mentions different features and different things are uh, mentioned based on which we can identify the organism that yes, this particular organism is similar to the one we studied before. Oh, okay, so like that relationships can be maintained. Next point is classification helps in knowing the relationship. Yes, we get to know about the relationship among different group of animals and plants and that is how we got to know about uh, evolutionary relationship as well, right? The next point, classification make the study of organism easier, right? And gives a comparative account of them. We can compare between them. So, these are some of the important reasons which makes classification a very important process. Now, the last question, what is binomial system of nomenclature? Who proposed the system? And why is binomial nomenclature the most acceptable mode of naming the organism? So, here three parts are there of the question and you have to answer this for five marks. So, here's the answer for you all. Naming of plants and animals with two words, one generic name and other species name 
is called the binomial system of nomenclature. Who proposed it? Carolus Linnaeus. Carolus Linnaeus introduced the scientific system to name a species. He gave two names to species like Mangifera. Mangifera is the generic name and Indica is the species name. We call it Mangifera. Indica is the name for mango. Okay, it's a scientific name for given to mango, Mangifera indica. Binomial nomenclature is universally accepted all over the world because it is written according to the universal rules of nomenclature, which was framed by ICBN, ICZN, and ICNPC, etc. It has two parts of generic name and the species name followed by name if the scientist who discovered it at last in abbreviated form. So, name of the scientist is in abbreviated form. It must be in Latin or derived from Latin. It must be binomial means two names, genus and species. The genus starts with a capital letter. So, genus name, the first name starts always with a capital letter while the species name starts with a small letter. Handwritten names is underlined. It indicates the relationship with other species present in same genus. So, if it is handwritten, you have to underline. Like whenever you write any scientific name and you are writing with your hand, then you have to underline the name. Okay. Now, the rules and regulation present of binomial nomenclature must be observed before a taxonomist name names a found organism. This maintains stability in the taxa. It avoids the use of names that may cause error, ambiguity and confusion. So, these rules and regulation reduces the confusion while studying different types of species and they help us to understand the relationship exactly and you know very clearly between different organisms. So, with this we are done with the CBSC test paper 1 with some important basic questions from the first chapter. Then we will do few more questions in the next class. Thank you everyone.